morning. Hello, welcome. I am back in the UK. It's nice to be back here on the farm. We're going to get some um, cattle work, some tractors. No more sunshine because it's raining here. But um, yeah, back home. I like, I like being home. This is a place to be. See what we'll get up to anyway. Got a 210 fired up already and it's much lighter. Yeah, everywhere is much, much lighter. In a week, it's already changed, which is great. Right, we've got this um, straw ball full of straw, so we'll get cracking with this. Okay, good job we got these replacement mirrors. <laughs> God. Having said that though, I still need the lights on in here. Also, first job's gonna be to fill this up with diesel. I think it's running a little bit low. I wanted to thank Yagro Marketplace for sponsoring this part of the video. I've been using them for the last four or five years to save money on diesel and other things that we use on the farm. Quite honest, the fact that this tractor is empty has reminded me I need to do this video. Use a lot of this stuff on the farm, probably not as many as most people, but we do use a fair bit. But it's safe to say that over the years, Yagro has saved me a small fortune. Because with their phone-based app, it just makes it so easy. It's just so easy to get quotes from multiple suppliers right to your phone. That's just run out of diesel. So if I'm about around the farm, Fires up now. Oh, out in the tractor, I can use their free app to make life easy and save money. It's like a two headed coin or two headed coin. Is that what they say? I don't know. It's a two headed coin anyway. That's what I'm saying. Um, it saves you, saves you money and it saves you time. So I'm not going to be in office um, looking for quotes for diesel or whatever it is. I can be here. Request it, Yagro do the work, then I get the quotes from the independent companies on the price of the fuel. I can then pick which one I want to go with. Always the cheapest for me, but if you know if you've got a particular preference for a certain company, then obviously you can pick whichever you like. Click on it, order it, all done. You have to talk to anybody, it's just done. If you want to talk to someone, there's Neil on uh, the Yagro marketplace team and he'll sort you out he's a really nice guy someone to talk to if say you've got a special request for the delivery or you want to check that it's definitely this type of chemical that you want to buy you know it is there but it just makes things so seamless and easy it's just perfection for me so over that four or five years that I've been using it obviously I've built quite a relationship with a team that's there and when they asked me if I'd do a video on it, it's just like, but well, that's easy. Like, yeah, not a problem. It's very easy to recommend an app that saves people money and time. So save the hassle out of purchasing fuel and use Yagro Marketplace business. So I filmed that last Saturday, how the weather has changed from snow to sunshine like this. But, um, if you want to get a free account with those guys, then there's a link in the description below. Click on that, it'll take you through, and then you can start saving money on your fuel purchases, can't you? Business. Back to today. Oh, it's nice to see these guys, though, happily eating away as we're giving them some straw. It is, it's good. It's good to be back. We've got a lot of nice tractors coming today as well. Um, the Arable boys are coming for some muck, so we're plenty of mucking out action. First of all though, we've got the daff to get parked up because we've got a load of cattle going. That's all ready, we'll get some of these guys on. So my dad's got off with them, I've jumped on this. Another one! That took 10 needs filling up with these as well before we can do all. It's like comedy errors! Good morning. We're in a bit of a rush, that's why I'm stressing a little bit. 
because they're coming at um, well in the next like 10 minutes but we'd normally have everything done by now but um, we haven't so they might just be waiting for us a little bit or they can give us an anti the cattle I suppose that might be the best idea I was just sorting out a mix putting in the maze Right, we're moving these out of here and then we're going to move them out of the big shed into this one for a few hours and we can get it mucked out. So Ralph, see you now on the 6175. First. Now going to get the big shed mucked out. All this out. It's really hard to see with that sun up there, but Will's just gone with the class. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. It's a beast. Just got a delivery from Cram. Got some grease cartridges. Um, something else that's in there that I'll show you tomorrow. And then this. What do you think that is? Can people guess? I'm guessing some of you will already know. A bit of a break in proceedings with the mucking out. We're going to unwrap this bill here and put it into the kettle right now i've just moved things around a little bit because what i'm going to get to the trailers to do is back in down here and then i'm going to come out of the gate that's at the side there and tip into the trail like that. do you get what i mean now i'm able to fill it in here and i'm not traveling as far as you can see it looks fairly deep probably meter ish i think them panels at the back are a meter But it's been good for them over the winter, keep them warm. And there's people you could go a lot, you could go a lot deeper. It's not, it's not rotting underneath and breaking up, which I've seen muck like that before. But it does come out very nice because it's been through the teagle. And that's why we use a bucket to muck out. So there's no real tear out from each bucket. Here we go. It looks like a sunny day out there. What's everyone else been up to? Let me know in the comments. Land looks a bit wet though. I think any of these flotation tires have got on the trailers. They're just doing a bit of tidying up work now while the next trailer gets in. to keep him here as short a time as possible. It's going to be a well-oiled machine. That's why I like things to be on time. When we're, uh, we're getting stuff like feeding up done in the morning. Um, and shortening the distance to the trailers. And then doing little jobs like that, like the bits that take the time while we're waiting and then finally getting prepared with a full bucket for when he gets back down here which he is in the yard I've just seen him so it'll be two seconds and he'll be here well we've got five loads out of here now um, there's definitely another seven or eight if not more probably ten ten or more because there wasn't any muck here really um, so yeah, that'll keep us busy for the rest of the day. I'm getting warm now, you know. I'm going to take these overalls off. I don't know if it's this, uh, this warm weather of Tenerife making me uh, making me like this or what. I thought I would have felt a bit cold, but not, not today. It's been using the 6.9 for hedge cutting. And we've got another. Off uh, for my dinner. Is it the all-you-can-eat buffet? Is it beer on tap? No, no, <laughs> it's back to reality. Corned beef sandwiches. Right, I've had my dinner now. I've got my fancy um, gimbal thing that I've been practicing with on holiday. And I'm going to try and do a fancy time lapse for the next shed that we muck out. Get ready.
was, uh, that was pretty cool. This fella though, here, just keeps getting in the way all the time. Oh, let's get him out of the way. Come on. Come on. I think he's... Uh, I think he's got out somewhere. The only thing is with this, it follows my face and I don't want it to follow my face. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's gone now. He's out of the way. Um, right, let's get back on to today. Oh, oh yes, I like that. That was a good time lapse, how it moves. Anyway, we got uh, the next load in, so better not be messing about too much. We'll jump on the TM again. And get it loaded. Between these loads coming, I'm gonna try and do a bit of feeding up. Cause we'll run out of time today. If we don't, if I just hang about dilly dally. Well, my dad's come out and he wants me to uh, get this 6215 up and running and he's going to take a load of muck with this if it starts that is let's give her a go ah, like a beast so we'll get up into the field here we'll pick up our trailer right, I'm going to tip the trailer up see how much water we've had Ready, door's still shut. Oh! Lots of water. So my dad's on now. Getting muck out of here. Into the trailer. And me and Pip are cleaning the straw off the path. And I think she's looking for rats. Found any? Found them? Huh? We're going down this place. There we go. Ralph's on his way now. In the one seventy five. Are they similar to a 7530? I'm not quite sure. Well, a nice tractor though. So I'm just waiting for another trailer. I've fetched the straw blower down. So we've got probably this will go on this last load. And then I need to get plenty of straw in here. Get those cattle back across here. Muck that pen out, then onto the yeah, mugging somewhere else. So I'm blasting plenty of straw into here. We'll go and get another bale as well in a second. So we're going to get these back in their pen. We've got the help of Chief Cowboy Ralph here. <laughs> Yeehaw! So we're getting backed in again, my dad's going to take over on the TM and I'll start feeding round with the 9 metre. The big beast is here. 2.15 looks like he could do with a bath, doesn't it? She's looking dirty. I don't really like feeding out with this, but um, I suppose it's not too bad. Just not being able to see. These little fellas here, you'll be seeing for quite some time on the farm. We're going to graze them. Um, so that's what they're in here for. Got just a little bit of meal just to keep them going and then uh, all the hay that they can eat. So yeah, we'll be turning these out probably on the uh, RSPB reserves. So mixed mentions today is going to be Bailey trailer and tractor mention. Um, it's Harriet Lewis, who's finally 21, and I don't know if somebody's having a little diggy or saying, um, potentially a good potato farmer. Or finally considered a good potato. I can't remember which one it was. Let me just have a look. Most considered a good potato farmer. So I think there's a little dig going on there, Lewis, but happy 21st, mate. Don't have too many beers being 21. Um, but yeah, anybody else wants to get their name in the um, video there's a link in the description below to mix mentions where we just raise a bit of money for yorkshire air ambulance so check it out on there business
talking about tractors and diesel. Another one, fairly low. So I'm up here getting the straw off the stack. Looks like this is fast going down now. We've narrowed it in and um, they're the last ones on the top of this one. These guys are getting the last few loads of muck out. And I'm bunging the yard up with straw. But, uh, plenty of room for them. So we're just getting the last few loads out of here. So that should go on at least the next trailer. We're done. You can tell this is Ralph's tractor from the absolute fragrances that are inside. He loves keeping it clean. And why not? It's a nice tractor. Right, so I've just took the mixer up the yard. We'll put this pre-mix in here. It's getting later and later and later and later, but it's still light, which I am liking a lot. Hell of a lot. It feels like springs on its way. Now we're getting some muck out of here. My dad's having to back into the bottom. I'm opening the gate then, then get it out. I'm thinking this is probably where I'm going to leave it tonight. Um, it's getting a long video. Uh, I've given them a bit of jib today, haven't I, about the, the uh, about the fuel and the, the mirrors and stuff. It's all doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like these guys are all good. Uh, nothing drastic's happened while I've been away, um, and not that it would have, not that I expected it or all that. But um, yeah, it's really good to be back. So thanks everyone for watching. If you have liked it, remember to press the like button. Um, if you do want your cheap fuel, remember to find the link in the description below for the Yagro app. Um, and check out the new website. Check out the Joe Seals website, the new one that I launched with the Shopify. Sorry about the annoying verse and beeper. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So we're just getting these guys back in their bed now. That's it folks, it did get dark. Um, Joe Seals ending, two of them, as per usual. Thanks for watching. Bye.